Hey, I'm RC and welcome to the episode 10 about creating a game in HTML5. So if you haven't watched the last episode, then I will highly recommend you to do so by clicking the annotation on the screen. So in this video, what we will do is that we will add the logic for the collision between a bullet and an enemy. We will also add a new type of upgrade that will increase the attack speed of the player. So let's get started. Actually, the first thing we will do is to fix the bug where um, when the game starts, the bullets are not being removed. So um, it's very easy. Right there, we we'll just put bullet list become empty object. So we we were already doing it for enemy upgrade and we forgot to do it for bullet. So now it's fixed. Um, now for the collision with the um, bullet versus the enemy, we will need to go in our update loop. We are already looping through every bullet in the list. And for every bullet, we need to test with every um, enemy. So we will need to do a double loop. So we got one loop here, and inside that loop, we got another loop. So we'll loop through every enemy. And um, we cannot use key key, um, because this key will override this one. So we'll need to find a, a new name, let's say key two. It could be anything, really. And right there, we are going to test if there's a collision between the enemy and our bullets. And if there is a collision, then this is what we will do. We will delete the bullet list key. So we will simply delete the bullet and delete the enemy. There we go. Now, um, it seems to be working, but there's a little issue is that if the bullet is colliding with the first enemy in the list, so we do this code right there, we delete the bullet um, from the list. And then once this is done, nothing stops the loop. So we will try, even though we have just deleted the um, the bullet, we will try to do the collision with the second enemy in the list. And then the third one, fourth one, even if the bullet has been removed, which is not good at all. So what we need to do, there's a keyword for that when we want to leave a, um, a loop, it's called a break. So if you call break inside a loop, it will stop the loop and go away. So if we call break, it will go here directly. So here we can still, um, we need to be careful because if we try to access this, then this might not even exist because we will have deleted it. So um, we need to make sure to not um, try to access the bullet after uh, potentially deleting it. Okay, so let's just check how it looks. So one little mistake I made right there, it should be key two that we delete, not key. So this is how it should look. So we got our player, it should bullet, and if they collide, um, then the bullet and the enemy are being removed. So everything is working um, as it should. Uh, now there's still a little issue and it's the fact that the bullet stays in game forever as long as it does not touch an enemy. And it makes the game way too easy over time. So what we will do is add a um, lifetime to the bullet. So after let's say five seconds, if the bullet has not touched anything, then the bullet will be removed. So let's work on that. Um, so to do this, what we will do is we will add a new property to our bullet. So right now we got like the regular stuff for the entity and we will add a new property called timer, which will be zero by default. And in our update loop right here, right after updating the um, position and drawing the um, bullet, we will um, increase the timer by one. So timer plus plus. And if the timer, is bigger than let's say um, 100, which is five seconds, then we will delete the bullet. So it seems to work, but it won't work because if we delete the bullet, then we do this thing. It, it, the computer does not know that it must not do that part if we delete the bullet. So if we leave it that way, um, we delete the bullet, then we try to test the collision between the bullet and the enemy, which will cause bugs because the bullet no longer exists. So there are two ways to do that. The first one would be to add the continue key. So if you remember um, break, it says leave the loop and I don't want to do the next one. Continue in the other end means don't do the rest of, like the rest of the code for this iteration of the loop. Just move on to the next one in the list. Um, so what it would do is go here, continue and move directly to the next one. Well, break, it's just leave this, uh, leave this loop as a wall. 
So doing it that way would work. Another way to do it, which is probably a bit easier, is um, to have a variable called to remove, which will be false at the beginning. And if the timer we set to remove to true, if they are colliding, we add to remove true. And right there, we just test if to remove is true, then we delete our bullet list key. So yeah, by removing it at the end, we make sure that bullet, bullet list key is defined above. So there's no possible error with that code. So this is how it should look. So if we refresh the page, um, I shoot a bullet. If it does not collide with anything, then the bullet just disappear. And yeah, everything is working fine. So the next um, thing we will work on is to add a new type of upgrade. So right now, um, when you touch an upgrade, it increases your score by 1000. We will add a new one that will increase the score by 10,000. So yeah, to do that, we will add a new property to our upgrade. So we will add a category. So there will be um, multiple categories. We just add this that way. The logic will be done um, here. So let's say that there's category um, low and category high. It could be numbers, it could be many things. Um, so what we'll do is call this. So if the randomly generated number is below 0 0.5, which happens 50% of the time, then the category will be low. And otherwise, the category will be high. So normally in most um, programming language, you're not supposed to make a declaration inside of if, but We'll leave it that way to make it easier. There's a nicer way to do it, but it works. And then right here, we will add the category. Uh, now, even though the computer now knows that it's the category of the upgrade, um, still does not know what to do when you face a low and when you face a high. We need to declare it right here. So here we loop through all the upgrade lists. If they are colliding, then we increase the score by 1000. But right there, what we will do is if the upgrade key category equal low, then we will upgrade the score by 1000. If the category is high, then we will increase it by 10,000. And then we will delete it as normal. Okay, so this is how it should look. So we shoot bullets. Now this one increased my score by 10,000. This one increased only by 1,000. So now there's a little issue with the upgrade. So even if the category is different, the color stays the same. So what? Uh, in order to fix that, we'll add a new parameter called color. And um, instead of always being orange, it will take um, the value put in the constructor. And right here, if the category is low, then the color will be orange. And if the category is high, then the color will be purple. And we'll add that after right here. So this is how it will look. Um, so there should be a purple dot, so I know it's 10,000. And there should be a range dot that I know it's... Um, the first one was 10,000 and this one is 1,000. So there we go. Right now, the player shoot a bullet every second, but it would be kind of cool if um, we could change that. So if the player add a attack speed attribute, and the more attack speed he has, the more bullet he shoots. So let's work on that. So first, we add a new parameter or new attribute to the player called attack speed. And right here, in our update loop, um, we randomly generate a bullet every 25 frames, so every second. So now instead of doing that, we will um, divide 25 by the player attack speed, attack speed that way. So if the attack speed is, let's say, 5, then this becomes 5, and this is being shot every 5 frames, so 5 times per, per second. Now there's a little issue. Um, if the attack speed is 2, then this becomes 12.5, and a number modulo, like a integer modulo something dot five will never be equal to zero. So it will kind of crash. So in order to fix that, we need to add a math round. So this function will round the number to its nearest um, integer. So this should be great. So if we change the attack speed right here and we make it, let's say five, and we check here, the player should be shooting shitloads of bullets. So it, it works 
fine. Okay, so now what we will do is that instead of having two upgrades being low and high, we will change that for score and this to attack speed. So um, if the category is score, then it will increase the score. If it's attack speed, it will increase the attack speed of the player. So the logic is right here. So if it's low, so if it's score, we increase by 1000. If it's attack speed, then we increase the attack speed of the player by let's say three. So if we go back here and we update, so the um, player is shooting one bullet every couple seconds. I think the upgrade and now he's shooting super fast. So I guess that will be pretty much it about this video. I hope you liked it and don't forget to click the annotation on the screen to check out the next episode. See ya!